So, I did this photo comparison from uh, yeah, the Faxa Quarry, uh, which was a really, really cool location. But a few of you uh, pointed out that I should have included the free panorama as uh, part of this uh, photo comparison. So uh, let's just do that. And I'm back at uh, Orby Harbor, one of my favorite spots to fly the drone. And I've been doing some really cool tests that I'm really looking forward to share with you. <laughs> so, this scenery, I think, would be really appropriate uh, to uh, include in a free panorama. What is it that I'm talking about? That is basically, if I go down to the panel function here, then I have all these different, uh, yeah, the standard ones that we know from the past, but there's included one that's called free panorama. And the way that works is that I can go here to this position and then I can set the upper frame basically of my panorama. And I do that by pressing the C1 here on the base, then go select, and then I go to the other position, which could be over here and then down here. So I basically have each corner of my panel shot and then I can start capturing. I would assume that you're not, <laughs> you don't have this, uh, this uh, intro thingy every time that you do it. I've done it with the Air 3S so it's not completely new this function. I've seen it before but then I will include a few other photos as well so we have something to compare with. And let's just go down here again and to see what is uh, possible. Uh, the output is uh, JPEG and uh, yeah, the original is RAW, so we can basically control that. And let's also see what we can do with the camera settings with this. Yeah, we can select if it's 25 or if it's 100 megapixel. Again, we can select the different output formats and also there's some AEB settings that can be included. Let's do that just for the sake of it and then turn it down to 25 and 3 AEB images. So these are the settings that can be changed when um, you uh, want to do these panoramas. And then um, the reason why you have a, a photo type, if it's JPEG or RAW, that's because it actually saves the RAW photos or the individual photos if you decide to on uh, the SD card in a separate folder. So you can do your own stitching if you want to do that. So let's just do one more here. Yeah. So we go up here and we set the first one, press one. Then we go over here, we were around here, I think, the last time. And then we go down to this position, like this. So, and now we can start doing the panels. So it's uh, doing its work. So now it took the panorama image. So I guess it was the castle that was more or less the center in this panorama. So let's just, for the fun of it, just see if it's possible to do it with some of the other modes here. It is. So let's just go completely crazy. What can we do with this? So we set one and then we move to the other side. Over here, and then we set another one. It's not going to be equally big. So just, yeah, I don't know. We have the house over here. So, something like this. Set the other one. Let's see what it's doing. <laughs> it's definitely not going to be like the other one. But you get the point how this is done. We just need to make sure we have enough battery so we can include. 
a little bit of goodies for you to compare. For me to compare for you. It needs to go below 20 because before it starts complaining. So I think we will have enough time. There's a lot of images that have been stitched here. The other one was only eight. This is 48. So. Let's do a little bit more structured test here once it's done. So let's do what we do, what we set out to do here. So we take photo and we use the castle here as the center point of our photo. Let's just check what we have here. We learned from the photo test in the Faxa quarry that it's not that important if you shoot in the 12 or in the 50 megapixel in the high rate. Let's just take the best possible resolution. So let's do like a more structured test here. So we put the, the castle in the center. It's not what I normally would do, <laughs> but it makes it easier to do a comparison. Let's just check what we have here. JPEG plus four is enabled, 3.2 is okay. 100 megapixels, we take that. And then we do uh, one of those. Yes, please. And then we do. Uh, oh, then we do like one with the 70 millimeter. And again, we just check the camera settings. 4.3 JPEG plus RAW and the biggest resolution. So we get. The maximum here. And then we shift down to the six times magnification. And we again, we go in, check JPEG plus RAW, 50 megapixel. Thank you. And we take that one. And if we should have something that's really comparable, then I would go to the panorama here. Oh, and then I will, oh, 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 oh. photo here. And then I will go to this. And then I would do panorama there. And then I will take a wide shot like this. Because that will allow us to compare so it goes out to there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I can recreate that as a free panorama as well. So it's working. And we are working against everything here so we go out here and then we go up here hey, let's just check the settings here we just we want the best possible result we don't care about the raw files here we take a b off as well 100 megapixel output format jpeg yes we set the first one and then we go over here and then we set the other one it was much further down I don't know if that was correct. I'm feeling a little bit stressed because of the battery level. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. And now we're getting into problems here. So, control, uh, camera. Uh, 
internal storage yes please and then do this then we have something that is comparable All right, so let's bring it home. I put it on the back of <laughs> the trunk lid of the car. I'm not really sure. I just want to make sure that when it lands, it doesn't wreck anything on the car. See. It's coming down now. It'd be kind of stupid if that happened. So I guess it's not going to land there. So. So, <laughs> so we didn't destroy anything here in the process so that's nice so this was a short uh, test of uh, the panorama free panorama feature that is included uh, with uh, yeah the mavic 4 pro as well as uh, the air 3s where i saw it the first time i don't know if it's included in some of the other models right now but um, yeah so now you've got a fast by the end of battery demo <laughs> of that feature as well. I hope you like this video and if there's something else that you want to see with this drone, uh, okay. Also, if you want to see more videos about this drone, then I've compiled a playlist with all the videos that I made around it that you can access through this card. I hope you like this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.